been out at Montgomery's Inn, which is a Toronto museum. It's at the corner of Dundas and Islington. If you look behind me, you can see a, a park, which is a nice setting, but we're right on Dundas and it's quite a busy thoroughfare. Yeah. It's um, curated to around the period of the 1840s to um, show what a, 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 an inn uh, would look like in uh, this uh, area of Toronto. But the oven is, um, it's a uh, masonry oven built with bricks. Uh, it's uh, built by a guy named Alex Chernoff of Stove Master. And um, it has, it's a bit different from a typical pizza oven, which a lot of people would be familiar with, in that the oven has a, uh, an arch in, instead of a dome. The floor size is roughly five by six. If we really cram it, we can probably fit in up to 40 loaves in uh, one firing. So we're gonna be doing two styles of bread, uh, some no-knead dough, which was prepared yesterday, and we're also going to prepare some sourdough bread as well today. And we do, uh, most of the loaves are not baked in pans, they're just freeform loaves, uh, boules and batards. Uh, but we're also gonna do some uh, bread in a, a wood frame, and you'll see that later, um, where it'll be a frame that holds eight loaves of sourdough bread. Uh, we usually make about five different varieties of bread. Today we're making two types of sourdoughs. We're also making a uh, white, a rustic white bread, uh, ancient grains bread, uh, rosemary and thyme bread, and uh, a light rye bread, as well as a bread that we use for events here at the inn, in particular Thursday Thursdays, which happen here once a month, at, uh, every last Thursday of the month. So primarily we bake bread for the market, and the market happens today, same day. So uh, it being the winter market, it's not as busy during the summer. During the summer we'll bake usually twice as much bread as we'll be doing today. The basic way, that our basic techniques, the basic system that we use is almost identical to how it would have been done in the 1830s. We're using an actual wood fire bake oven. It is not controlled by electricity or gas or anything like that. It is just a piece of wood and multiple pieces of wood flame and we're heating up the oven and actually using the residual heat out of the oven as they would have back in the 1830s. We shape the bread, we mold the bread by hand. We're actually, we actually use machines to make the dough mixes because we make large quantities. It's consistent with uh, what baking would have been done in the 19th century. A baker from 19th century could walk in here, Montgomery's in on a Wednesday and help us out. Well, right now we're just at the firing stage. Um, uh, so at this point we're just trying to get a good fire going near the front of the oven and we'll build that fire to get a nice broad fire and we'll spread it across the front. And as that fire heats the front we'll eventually move it back um, maybe every 15 or so minutes. We'll need to push it a little bit further back, add more wood to get the, uh, a nice even heat around the, the hole of the oven. Well, I'm just trying to help the wood along in the and it burning up completely. So I just try and expose these surfaces of the wood or not quite burnt surfaces to the wood. And we're also trying to get rid of a couple of uh, dark spots on the wall. So this basically I'm just trying to help the wood all burn down. So Dale, how long does the oven stay hot and what can you do with it while it's hot? Well the oven, depending if it's well heated, um, we'll typically do at least two and often three bakes in a, a bake day, so that takes about an, about an hour and a half of baking. But the oven, uh, the, the mass and the insulation hold the heat so well that the next day you could go in and bake a cake at somewhere around uh, 350 degrees. Um, and then the next day it could even, it would probably be warm enough to bake some shortbread at 250 or 275. And even three or four days after a bake, there's still a lot of residual heat in there. And if you wanted, you could dry uh, fruit in there. It, that's so well insulated. We've sealed up the oven, so, what that will do is uh, kill the fire and any, any embers inside, wait a few minutes and then I'm going to scrape out all the old coals and embers and then we clean out the floor of the oven with uh, a damp off. So you're raking out the oven? Raking out, uh, raking out the coals and the ash.
So we've cleaned all the ashes out, all the, the embers, the ash out of the oven. We've uh, mopped the floor out of the oven as well. So we seal it up again just to help you know, let the oven rest, just to even out the temperature over the you know, whole, whole oven. And the next step we'll do is we'll actually bake in a few minutes. This is your favorite part? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's better in the summer when it's warmer and you can kind of like sit and relax on the grass. We're good. Five minutes, Anton, right? Five minutes, yeah. So I assume this is a bit of a downtime right now. Yeah, now we're just kind of waiting for the uh, the sourdough to kind of rise again before we uh, shape it again and then put them in the bowls and get them out for the oven. So why the different slashes? It's to make it easier to identify for sale. Some of them look quite similar. So they don't, so it doesn't blow up. Well, those guys downstairs are just hanging around now. No, they're gone. Oh, In about 10 minutes time, I'll come back out to check on the bread to see if it's burning or how they're coming along. So Rachel, you seem to have uh, the prep and the getting the bread all down to a science. How long have you been doing this? Uh, just over a year now. Right. And what brought you here? I had a bit of time before my grad school program started and wanted somewhere to volunteer and I lived in the area so I thought I'd see what was available for me. Right. And why did you pick bread? <laughs> I actually am also a tour guide. I just end up doing the bread because I have the time to do it and I enjoy it. So we're finally done? Uh, this one, yeah, this load is uh, baked. What's this lo loaf called? It's still a white sourdough dough. We just made it in a uh, loaf, more like a sandwich loaf than the standard loaf. And that's the Mon Montgomery and crust on there? It is. It's the shape of the sign from the original inn in the 1830s. That's it. So Rachel, how does it feel once you've spent the day baking to actually see the bread on sale? It's pretty exciting to see it on sale and to know that there's, the, you can see the people waiting for it to come out and there's sometimes because it can take a while for the final loads to get out. Um, you get people who are really excited for the certain type that they're waiting on. So it, it's rewarding to see that happen.